Well, today I got the axles and hubs and also the kit that's in those bags there to, to uh, finish up my rear differential upgrade. I still have to get the drive shaft shortened, but uh, these are beautiful. Wow. Can't wait to get them on. Okay, here's the uh, right side hubs on. I went with the standard size studs because I'm using the, uh, I got the Koenig um, alloy wheels on my car. So anyway, that's the axle there. I'm going to see how that fits in there and start my first test, I guess, to see if anything rubs. Well, right off the bat, I can see some scratching. I think I'm going to have to uh, get some bluing compound or something to, to paint on this just to make sure I get everything as I start to... Uh, touch it up with a little polishing or grinding wheel. So one of the steps to uh, mount these CV axles is to basically put the the hub and the brake on the on the on the swing arm and then slide the axle in the back and check for interference uh, in this in this cylinder here. So uh, I did have some interference and what I've done, I just wanted to kind of show you in the process here. Um, I don't know if you can see any of the scratches or not. Not really. Well, I'll, I'll do some, next time I do a pass on this, I'll, I'll show you. But uh, basically, I put this uh, dicum, this layout fluid, you can see it there, and painted the inside of this thing, and then put the axle in after I assembled the brake and the hub to the swing arm. Just to, and then tried to rotate it, and there's some definite interference. So what I'm doing here is I have this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, just one of these little flap wheels on my drill, and I'm using that to kind of sand off the, the uh, material in here. And you can see there's like horizontal striations in the casting. I'm not sure what that's... If that's, I don't think it's from the casting. It must be some kind of crude machining they did just to get things to fit uh, with the uni universal joints. So anyway, what I'm going to do first is just uh, sand this down in the area where I had interference to where all the striations are gone. And then I'm going to paint it with the dicum material again and then try the assembly and see how, how, uh, how I did. But this is probably going to be the most tedious part of this whole installation. Okay, so I did uh, my test with the putting it together and turning it, and see there's one right here, uh, and then there's one here that that goes extends quite a bit around, maybe like 45 degrees, and then a little bit in this area here, and then further down uh, there's a couple here that I'll have to take care of. And I think I'm going to address these first, and then kind of work my way down. Well, after much aggravation, I have this axle to where it doesn't hit when I turn it. <laughs> um, I'll take the uh, the axle out and show you the inside here in a second. To clarify on the axle, this is the, the end that goes in the hub. Uh, you can see where it was rubbing on the dicum here. This is where the, the stainless steel uh, band is holding the... Uh, the boot on and underneath here is there there's some of the uh the strip goes extends and stops about here so what we're seeing here is just the uh the material or the top strap going over the one underneath it so that was my nemesis was trying to get that to fit but anyway um the axle turns really smooth and uh, i'm real happy with it so uh just got to clean out the dicum and um Let's see what else do I have to do. Oh, I wanted to uh, upgrade the rear brake cylinders to the 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 Morgan. I think it's a 075. It's 070 or 075 diameter uh, rear cylinder. So I have those, and I also have I bought a set of stainless steel brake lines. So I'm going to install those while I have it this far apart.